benefiting him. Um, being able to hit his shield safely without detonating the grenade, right? Um, a lot of those things are a factor in the snake matchup where Yoshi doesn't do those things very well. So it's like... <laughs> Well, you know, we're, we're talking about how rough it's going to be, but let's see how Slade himself fares. We did see a great platform play, which is something I uh, don't see from a lot from Yoshi. Yoshi's in general, and yeah, that's what he's doing. He's going to these platforms, he's trying to stick around them, and I honestly, I could see why that would be an effective game plan. Um, right now, he's just playing super evasive, but one hit from Snake, and it does 15%. Why does down tilt do 15%? Um, uh, big feet. <laughs> big man feet. He's a, uh, he's a super soldier. Big, big, big man feet, okay. Yoshi's got big feet, look at them. Yeah, they're, but they're cartoon dinosaur feet, okay? They're about, they're, they're the equivalent of Dude, have you ever gotten hit by a cartoon? That stuff hurts. Okay, I mean, are we talking metaphorically or like... Uh, literally, have you ever literally been hit by a cartoon? Bars? Um, I've been hurt by a cartoon. <laughs> Which cartoon hurt you, Bars? Um, Show me was, on the doll where the cartoon hurt it was, you. It was, it, was, it was one of the many, it was one of the many um, carnival characters that I played in Brexit. But uh, with that being said, uh, you know, it's still a close game. Sl Slades look like he's doing a pretty good job at combating the grenades with a lot of these eggs, though. He's using a lot of eggs. Yeah, okay, that's, that is, Yoshi getting kills on Snake can be really, really difficult and tricky, but as we saw, he, Slade recognized his opening, because when Snake is above him like that, uh, up air is so fast, so quick, that that can often be the, uh, the, the one real answer to a Snake in that position. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, before the match started, we did see Jeremiah say that he did not know how to fight Yoshi, so... This could be a problem for him going going forward during this set. That that could be problematic because doing well against you, it's really hard to face a Yoshi for the first time, really, and do well. Um, because the main weaknesses in Yoshi are the things you have to exploit. And if you don't know what those particular exploits are, then Yoshi might have the chance to play his own game against you. Oh, almost getting that second forward air, but just outside of range. Jeremiah still taking about 64% though. Yeah, and you're seeing him in like these eggs that are coming out from um, Slade right now. Uh, it's it's kind of it doesn't it doesn't it looks like Jeremiah isn't really used to these launch angles from these eggs, the direction that they're sending him in. Uh, the fact that he could bounce them faster and slower, you know, like, like you said, this is something that's very matchup dependent. If you don't have experience against Yoshi, it can be a little jarring. Yeah, good tech choice there from Jeremiah. Uh, it's sort of the unconventional thing would be to, you know, tech in place when you're at the ledge. And definitely Slade was expecting the tech in, but he didn't actually get it, which meant that Jeremiah Bound back up in neutral, but not for too long. Once again, the PS2 platforms are the perfect length for Yoshi Up Smash to cover every single option. So that's another really big stock for Slade. Yeah, and also these um, egg lays are putting Snake in positions where even at later percents, he's landing right on that platform and he's not really get, having a choice of landing a positive go below it. So, which gives played enough time to get to wherever Sneak is and maybe confirm or get hit or put some pressure on him uh, on a platform, so. Um, one thing is that Yoshi is, a he's not getting punished for these eggs too much. Um, like Slade is throwing them out, and granted they are from, you know, pretty far space, like space pretty far away, generally speaking, but Snake with, like, if he wants to play that far away attrition game, he can be like throwing grenades out there, trying to figure out where Yoshi is going to be in order to get that good egg placement, and just hit him with, just hit him with moves, hit him with grenades, hit him, you know, try and actually exploit the fact that move does have a decent amount of end lag. Ooh, yeah, I'm, and, then, and, and I'm liking how Slade is playing this right now. That was a really good choice on electing to go for the down tilt there, knowing the range of what Yoshi would be able to hit with, given the frame advantage that he had. So, 
as we see 69% on Jeremiah. The more important thing though is that 153% and now Snake still has to get in and find the kill. Um, yeah, he's looking for an up tilt the way that he's walking up and all right, and forgot about the C4, catches him. Okay. Um, yeah, no, and you know, Snake at 85%. He could still be alive for a lot longer. So this is not that terrible position for Jeremiah. And while I say that, he's getting air wobbled in his favorite game. Uh, Yoshi's the only character with an actual wobble. Ban Yoshi. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, Falcon has air wobble, but what? What's Falcon's air wobble? C oh, no, I mean. Um, I'm referring no I'm, <laughs> no, I'm referring to the fact that Yoshi has Eggle into Eggle into Eggle. That's that's the oh. thing I'm making fun of here. Um, but I will say that there are certain things that normally make like Snake can like really carry Snake in the matchup, and Slate is just doing a great job playing around them. I don't think he got hit by up tilt once that entire game, and oh, yeah. that's normally something that Snake at least gets one up tilt. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, you see there, he timed the get-up attack and it, the invincibility didn't matter because Yoshi's legs aren't tangible. Yeah, and and, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because Slade just was using a lot of egg and not really yeah. being in the general vicinity of Snake. He didn't try to box with Snake at all. You know? I, I will say, as you saw right there, though, like Yoshi like drifted past past Jeremiah, and Jeremiah went for, elected for a um, a grenade hole. I think that like in a way, when Yoshi does go in, he should try and box with him a little bit more. You know, like mm -hmm. throw out those moves like up tilt, like forward tilt. You know, those quicker moves that once he's in the range. Yeah, because like when, like, yeah, like he's being very passive. And I understand why. Yoshi's scary. But as Snake, you have some really, really powerful, dangerous hitboxes that, um, like once you're in the zone, you can just go for them. Wow, okay. And, um, yeah, a lot of these grenades falling. And, um, you know, it's going to take a lot for Jeremiah to catch Slade right now to. You know, get into some close quarters, close quarter stuff. And like I said, I've been saying um, throughout this whole night about Jeremiah Snake. Uh, Snake does a lot of things, but I think the one thing that he is struggling with is how to, is generating off offense, like starting up a boxing game or starting up um, close to range. Close to range. For that grenade, that definitely would have been Jeremiah's death. But that's part of the matchup, that's part of the character. You know, is playing around the fact that he does have grenades that kind of mess with the concept of disadvantage. It doesn't remove disadvantage, but definitely disadvantage against or advantage against Snake is unlike any other character. Makes it annoying. Yeah, and once again, on that up smash on the platform, netting him a bunch of these shots, and um, like you said, that oh uh, wow, DI. And right there, yeah, he exploited uh, he. So, given that he, I think that Lilac was a good choice because these eggs are not going at the angles that, that Leah, like, he's mostly, they're mostly hitting the platforms. It's a lot trickier for Yoshi to weave in, like, the perfect egg placement. Meaning that, um, before he got that stock was because, you know, uh, an egg got thrown and then he managed to go in for the dash attack. And he needs to be exploiting those openings more if he wants to be able to close the gap and take a game two away from, uh, Slade, because otherwise, I think Slade's looking really confident right now. Yeah, um, yeah, no, yeah, Slade is definitely comfortable right now. Even when, like, right now, like, Jeremiah is doing a pretty good job right now at, um, racking up percents, but he's been having a hard time closing these oh. stuff. Oh, so the, the hurtbox shifting from the charge on the up smash meant that he dodged the first hit of down air and just the fully charge, the, 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 bulk of that move connecting that's that's huge for shade he is now a pretty much a clean stock up and considering yeah. that we already have seen jeremiah kind of struggle to get the offense started that's massive yeah he definitely just did it no it was uh no no yeah he, he definitely did that smash that that hurt box ship definitely helped him but uh yeah man it's like you know jeremiah's just struggling to find these stocks he's not getting his up tilts 
Um, he's not he's not even really getting uh, back airs or grabs. I bet. And Jeremiah kind of, you know, throwing out a lot more aerials, but I, I you know, they're trying to get the back air, trying to get that move that can take the stock. But uh, he, he's at the point now where grab will kill, right? But, you know, by the looks of it, Slade is platform having him pretty hard. Not taking any chances. Oh, oh that was so oh, good! That was oh, good! <laughs> Yo, that wave land up oh, something the up air made made Jeremiah flinch on the platform. Made my night. That was so smooth. Look at this. Throws the egg. He's in shield. Wave lands onto the platform. Catches him dropping shield. The instant the reverse hit of that up tilt connects, and the reverse part it's even easier to uh, combo off of it because it's at the end of the move. So yeah, it was just. A clear straight path from landing that into the up air to close out game two. And right now, Shade is one game away from being in grand finals where he gets a shot at po Pokemon. Oh, I think he dropped shield. Yeah, he dropped shield at the last second there. Or maybe jumped. Yeah. Like, that was like the frame. That was like the frame. Wow. The frame he dropped oh, shield. I feel like he's getting hit already. I think it. I don't know. I don't think it could have poked because the shield was so big. But yeah, I. Uh, all right, well. I, that, I feel like that must be a must have been a shield drop. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I, yeah. Maybe he just dropped at the exact frame that he got up for the But um. All right. Yeah, we'll now this is going to be interesting because definitely we know that a. The bulk of Shade's game plan is camping with eggs. He's trying to be mobile with them while still creating an opening. And the way he's been doing that before has been with these platforms in the middle. But now he still has access to platforms where on Kalos, but those platforms are at the edge. So the exact nature of how he's going to be uh, using those eggs, where and why, uh, is going to be fundamentally different on this stage. But it also gives him a retreating option that he didn't have before. Look at this. He's just going on these platforms and wave landing there because it's fun. Yeah, and this is Jeremiah's counter pick. And I, I understand the counter pick because usually this is a good stage for Snake. Um, but during the set, playstyle wise, I feel like this isn't really doing him any favors. Um, he's been losing. He's been losing the range game a lot. And you know. Oh. Yeah, he's been he's been losing this range battle a lot, right? All of that happened because they were trading they're trading grenades and eggs, and the eggs hit him, and he got put into the air. Right, so like I feel like this isn't really doing him any favors. I feel like you want to close the distance between him and Yoshi. That was actually smart. Where he accidentally, I'm pretty sure it was an accidental egg roll, but he jumped right before leaving that platform, creating a lot of extra distance between him and uh, Jeremiah, meaning that Jeremiah wasn't able to go in for you know just a punish on that move. That's something that a lot of Yoshis, I don't see them doing. Um, or maybe he's doing it on purpose, in which case I definitely don't see a lot of Yoshis doing that. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I know he's been stalling off stage using it, but, yeah. Um, yeah, but right now, Jeremiah is in a good position on stage. Um, putting a lot of pressure, putting a lot of grenades, doing up smash at the ledge. Trying to net the stock any way he can, and, you know, he got pushed to the other side, and... Oh, that please, that's not true, in the least, he's dead. Yeah, and that's the mix-up that he tried before and didn't get. Uh, yeah, wow, right now he, um... Slade in a, with a big lead. Yeah, and this is... If Slade takes this game, that's it. He oh my god, if he ends up locked up, that was, that was And he's already managed to do 74. That's the first up tilt kill I think we've yeah, ever seen. Go, and he teabags? Let's go teabag. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. Give yourself life. Right. Oh, I will say, so Slade went for a very deep... Uh, just oh, off. okay, yo, yo, yo okay, uh, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Wait, 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 was, was that the grenade or was that the egg? Shut it down, shut it down, no, that's the egg, shut it down, shut it down. Was that the egg or was that the grenade? That was the egg, that was the egg, egg. killed him off the top? That was the egg, that was the egg, shut it down, shut it down. Shut it down, shut it down. Hold on, hang on. Shut it down. Did he, I thought he pulled out a grenade. Shut it down. I thought the egg didn't explode the grenade. It's so hard to tell because he's behind the lag detector. 
Uh, uh, it is very difficult. To, he is really high where up are you there, going but it's there, usually Snake. very He's difficult. For, the fact the he timer. managed to intercept him with that egg is actually crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Tragic. Well, honestly, I this might be you know shameless personal bias. I'm glad that we're getting to see Yoshi in Grand Finals. Well, then I want you to say thank you, Joshathan. Thank you. What? Yeah, 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 thank <laughs> you, Slade. Oh, right. Thank you, Joshathan. You're right. <laughs> thank you, Joshathan. Thank you, Joshathan's Diddy. Oh. Oh. Uh, honestly, his Diddy wasn't bad. His Diddy was super solid, and I'm actually really looking forward to seeing um, if he is going to you know, play with the character more in Lab and Lab. I do think it's a really good compliment to Rob. So... Boom. This is funny.